Hello everyone, it's Andrew, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix a plug. This plug right here, uh, just over time it broke down and it actually exploded. Sparks flew out quite violently, and so it is time for a new plug, obviously. So if your plug is having a short or anything, hopefully it didn't get this bad, but I will show you how to fix it. The first thing you want to do is get a pair of uh, wire clippers or any kind of pliers that have a snipping tool and go a couple inches up from where the short is now this wire here we will need to splice so you need a razor blade and I also have a replacement plug here and this I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can get it online very inexpensive or you can pick it up at your local hardware store the only thing you want to make sure is that the plugs match so this one does not have a ground prong uh, which is that third um, little wire post metal post that sticks out so if it does have a ground you need to replace it with a ground so that's the plug you're gonna need a screwdriver for this model they're all kind of different but they all get the same job done so we're going to unscrew it and take a look at how we need to wire this so the first thing you're gonna do is this one has uh, screws kind of like if you've wired a switch uh, it's the same thing going on here so now we take the wire and we need to put it through the plug cover and you want to measure you don't want to splice or strip the wire any more than it needs to be so we're gonna measure just hold it up and see how much wire we need to cut out and how much of the insulation that goes around the whole cord so that we're not taking off too much if you take off too much you can run the risk of either shorting it again or even you could start a fire this way if you're not careful so lightly press a razor blade around the insulation you don't want to go too deep because if you do you will slice the insulation around each individual wire Now typically, typically you'll see uh, some other material inside the cord, which gives it support, and there's other reasons why it's there, but we don't need it for this plug, so we're just going to cut that off, and then we are going to strip each wire uh, according to the length. And so first we're going to hold it up to see how much wire uh, we need to strip off, how much insulation we need to strip off of each wire. Now in this model it kind of pinches it there and so we're just going to graze the insulation just slightly with a razor blade. He does not need uh, much pressure at all to do this. And on the opposite side we're going to do the same thing. Now this is soft wire, uh, it's soft insulation so it just comes off nicely. Now, if the wire underneath is um, just small strands of wire, you want to twist it up like this. That keeps it all tight and together. And then we're just going to screw one on one side and one on the other. It does not really matter in this case. So once the screw is tight up against the wire, you want to just make sure that it's very snug because you don't want it to come undone. You just repeat this on the other side and just give it a pull just to make sure that it's securely in place and repeat the process on the other prong or connector. And once again, give it a good pull just to make sure that it's securely connected. And once you determine that, then you can put the cover on the whole uh, plug there and screw it in and you will have completed your plug repair and that's it congratulations you've just replaced a bad plug with a good plug hopefully that gets you on your way with your appliance 
If you want more how-to videos, DIY videos, click the subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. And if you'd like to leave a donation in the tip jar, you're welcome to. It really helps this channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.